Hi, my name is Lisa Kuntz, and I'm MoDOT's project manager for the I-270 North Environmental Assessment. In this video, we're going to talk about the section of the corridor between um, Hanley Graham and Old Hall's Ferry. We're going to first talk about the reasons we think we need to upgrade this section of I-270. First of all, I-270 narrows at the Limburg Interchange, often creating congestion as you move east along to the corridor. There are six interchanges in approximately four miles, which often does not leave enough time for motorists to get on and off the interstate. When traveling westbound and you want to exit off the interstate or on, you have to go through confusing interchanges that are located on Dunn Road. Dunn Road is continuous throughout this corridor, but Pershall is not, missing segments between New Florissant and Washington Elizabeth and a one-way segment between the Hall's Ferries. One last thing we need to talk about is how tight this existing corridor is. Any improvements that we, we propose will affect adjacent property owners. Now we're going to talk about how we propose to improve this section of the corridor. First of all, we're going to talk about what we're going to do to Main Line 270. We will add a lane on 270 and consolidate the ramps. This will allow people more time to get on and off the interstate, improving congestion and safety. Option one will be to convert the outer roads Dunn and Pershaw to one way. This allows us to stay as close to the existing corridor as possible. We will begin the alternative at Hanley Graham. As you move east along the corridor, you will be on a one-way system where Dunn Road is westbound and Pershaw Road is eastbound. We will build a continuous Pershaw Road throughout the corridor. To minimize travel times, we are proposing U-turn lanes at key locations. This will allow the motorists to avoid signalized intersections along the arterials, making your travel time quicker. In addition, each signal along the arterial will operate more efficiently. What this means for you is you'll be able to get across 270 quicker. One of the longest distances in between cross streets is in between Washington Elizabeth and West Florissant. We're proposing an additional overpass at this location. As you move to the east end, we have two alternatives on how we begin the outer road system on the east. The first is moving the ramps directly to New Hall's Ferry and putting a U-turn ramp at this location. This will allow you to quickly get back to Old Hall's Ferry. While this does eliminate direct access to the interstate at Old Hall's Ferry, it does allow Dunn Road to remain two ways to the west. The alternate to the east side is to put the ramps to the east of Old Hall's Ferry. While this does allow direct access to Old Hall's Ferry, it, it requires converting a section of Dunn Road to one way. Now let's talk about option two, the two-way alternative. The two-way alternative also adds lanes on I-270 and consolidates ramps through this section of the corridor allowing motorists enough time to get on and off the interstate, which improves congestion and safety. There is one section of this alternative that will require a one-way segment of Dunn Road. We do this to minimize impact to adjacent property owners. To minimize travel time, we're proposing additional crossing at Lafayette Street. As you move to the east, the proposed improvement will be to treat New Florissant and Washington Elizabeth as one interchange, meaning access to the west will be at New Floors and, and access to the east will be at Washington Elizabeth. A new connector road will be built to the south, allowing quick and easy access from one crossing to another. We are building this on the south to minimize impacts to adjacent property owners on the north side of Washington Elizabeth. Unfortunately, this cannot be done at New Floors so we're proposing a realignment of Dunn Road to the north. Continuing to the east, we're now going to talk about the proposed improvements between West Florissant and Old Hall's Ferry. This option treats West Florissant, New Hall's Ferry, and Old Hall's Ferry as a single interchange. Access from the west will be at West Florissant and access at the east will be at New Hall's Ferry. A new connector road will be built in between New Hall's Ferry and West Florissant to provide direct and easy access between the crossings. 
local access will remain on Dunn Road and existing Pershaw. This option provides no direct access to Old Halls Ferry to the interstate. Instead, you will have to get off and travel back via these new connections to Old Halls Ferry. There is another option to provide direct access to Old Halls Ferry. This would be done by providing ramps directly to Old Halls Ferry from the east, resulting in no direct access for Dunn Road to Old Halls Ferry. Thank you for listening to these proposed improvements for the section between Hanley Graham and Old Halls Ferry.